Could you present yourself in one minute? Uh, I'm Maryam Gokulzar and I'm studying my PhD in this group, uh, studying from this semester. And uh, yes. And did you do your master here before, or? No, I did my master at UBC. Okay. Yeah. And your grad, your undergrad at UBC as well? No, or? my undergrad was uh, in Iran. Okay. It's called University of Technology. All right. Um, what is your research about? So, uh, for my PhD research project, I will be using scanning electron microscopy to characterize uh, electrode materials for applications in lithium-ion batteries. And um, the main goal of my project is to carry out in situ electron microscopy analysis um, of these materials and to establish an understanding of their performance using EDX and also to develop a quantitative analysis. Uh, of these results. Okay, and uh, why did you decide to go in this particular field? Uh, well, I always wanted to look into different materials more in depth. That's why I decided to join the uh, electron microscopy group at the Okay, and um, you, you just said that you wanted to join uh, the group at McGill, but why specifically at McGill and with Professor Gauvin? So, I chose McGill University because of the wide range of uh, opportunities that they provide for both their students and their alumni. You get to experience a great student life here uh, with all the uh, academic and non-academic facilities that are provided and to uh, establish a collaboration both within the university and their industry partners. And this particular group, um, because I, uh, by working in this group I get to uh, build a strong theoretical background and also uh, expand my experimental uh, and hands-on laboratory work in electron microscopy more. And through this group and this project, uh, I get the great opportunity to uh, collaborate both within the university and the industry. And I'm just excited to be here. All right. And then. Um uh, what do you hope that will be the impact of your research? Well, I hope that I can actually um, move this project towards the quantitative analysis of the results that I'm getting and um, hopefully have an impact in the battery industry and uh, especially lithium-ion batteries.